Hi all, welcome to this video tutorial for the subject Embedded System. Here we will be covering the last topic in the Embedded System design process of Module 1. The points we will be covering are Architecture Design, Designing Hardware and Software Components and System Integration. Architecture desi Design, it describes how a system implements its functions. In specification phase, we only know what are the functions a, a, an embedded system should do. It does not give any idea about how it is implemented. To know how it is implemented, we have included an architecture design phase. It can be defined as a plan for overall structure of the system. To understand architecture design in more detail, let us take an example. Let's take an example of a moving map. A moving map, it is a handheld device that displays the map of the terrain around a user's current position. It, is op it obtains this position from GPS, which is a satellite-based navigation system. So here is an architecture or system. This is also known as block diagram on or system architecture of uh, the moving map example. It contains a GPS re receiver search engine renderer renderer is to display the moving uh, moving cursor of the user and a display module and user interface and a database so this is an overall structure of our moving map even though it provides an overall idea about what the functions and how it is implemented we still lack the information about the hardware and software details in order to understand it or in order to know it more detail, we can refine this overall architecture or overall system architecture into the hardware architecture and software architecture. This we will see in the following slides. About the hardware architecture, so in the hardware architecture, all the hardware modules used by the system will be displayed. In our moving map example, the hardwares used are CPU, frame buffer in memory or any memory unit, display unit, then GPS receiver that is to receive the location and input output. So here you can see two kinds of memory, frame buffer memory, frame buffer and memory. This frame buffer is used to store the pixels which will be later used to render the location and this memory is used for the general purpose by the CPU. So this is the hardware architecture of the moving map example. Now let's see the software architecture. S uh, looking into the software architecture, you can find similarity between the first figure that is the system architecture. The only difference being about the timer. This timer is used to control when we read the buttons on user interface and render data onto the screen. Here also we will get a better idea since we know the data flow, how the data is going to flow among the software systems. So now we have seen the hardware architecture, software architecture and the overall system architecture. The one last point that we must note in the architecture design phase is that any architecture should satisfy both functional and non-functional requirements. I hope you know what are the functional and non-functional requirements. Functional requirements are the above men mentioned like the GPS receiver system, etc., GPS receiving function, etc., and the non functional requirements like cost, speed, etc. So, this is about the architecture design phase. Now, let's move on to the next phase that is the designing hardware and software components. This is the second last state or phase in the embedded system design process. In this phase, components specified in the architecture phase are built. The architecture design phase tells us about what components we need and all. Based on that, we will be building the components required for our system. These components can be both hardware and software modules. Sometimes it can be we can get these components ready-made for example the GPS receiver module all these are widely available nowadays and the topographic database which is a software module used to get the topographic data or 
sometimes we must ourselves design the uh, some components like the PCB or any software for satisfying our required function. Let us suppose we may not get such kinds of uh, components available easily available in the market. So we ourselves will have to design all these. Such things include the printed circuit board exclusively for our system or maybe it can be used later on but still we have we may we may not get such things available easily so we'll have to design that and or any kind of softwares uh, maybe it's not available so we'll have to carefully code or carefully program such kinds of software so this is about designing the hardware and software components so we have reached the last phase of the embedded system design process that is the system integration phase now what do you mean by system integration it means combining or integrating the various modules that we have been designing throughout all these phases which results in our desired embedded system this is one of the difficult tasks out of all the processes as it uncovers bugs or other problems bugs can be simple or complex simple bugs can be found and debugged easily whereas complex bugs aren't found easily. Only by fixing simple bugs, one can uncover complex bugs. How to reduce occurrence of bugs? For that, we need to pay attention right from the beginning. Special care is to be given at the architecture and component design phases by ensuring easy assembly of the system. Independent test functions can also help in the same. Also, debugging facilities for embedded systems are limited and so we have to pay more attention to uncovering and debugging the bugs right from the beginning itself. So this is about the system integration phase. Now let's look at the possible questions from the topic. Since this topic has no much important questions as it has not been asked for the previous year questions but still it can come as part of the design process like explain architecture design, component design and system integration phases of embedded system design process. So all the above mentioned points can be included as an answer so that is about the possible questions from the topic so here's what we learned we have learned the architecture design phase hardware and software component design phase and the system integration phases of the embedded system design process they are part part of a main topic called the embedded system design process that's about this video thank you